Hello, Project Wargaming, back with an update on the 3D board game. So, I have uh, begun the process, went and purchased the, uh, the new wood for the new board base, and then uh, also some um, frame for the outside. So, uh, Dad is going to work on that because he's got the uh, word working equipment. But it'll be similar in thickness to the old board. So, probably about, I don't know, half inch MDF board, I think. And then they'll be a little taller, like maybe another inch or three quarters inch of uh, a kind of a border that'll frame it uh, nicely. So it'll actually be a little taller and actually kind of protect these uh, the pieces on the board maybe a little bit more. Um, so uh, that's that. On this, on the old board, what I did to build it up was I had, you can kind of see, there's a, a layer down there of poster board, and then there's a layer here of poster board, and poster board, and then poster board. So there's like four layers of poster board, which was easy to cut out with scissors. But um, some of the issues with that was um, that it starts to kind of tear off in spots, and like in here, in some of these like little corners and stuff, they actually stick up a bit, uh, kind of, down here is is kind of the the worst worst bits of it so um just not super happy with how that turned out in the end you kind of see there that that sticks up a bit um so i i think i'm just gonna have two layers i'm gonna have a base layer which is what i'm doing here and then i'm gonna have the individual uh areas cut out in into a layer as well so um, as you can see, with that copy that I made, I have uh, extended out the line uh, a decent amount from where the space will is actually, and then I have traced it and left with that. So I'm going to cut this out, and then that'll be the base. You can see here that I've left some extras because this is where it joins together with, I think, this piece up here, and so that'll give me a little bit of play and then you can see here that I have also uh, have like the island spaces and uh, made them nice and big and then also made the sea zone or the port area nice and big because I'm actually casting uh, seaport tokens to, to put on onto them so that will be how that plays out so um, I'm going to cut this out not with a, a knife because uh, it's just long and painful and um, probably end up cutting my finger off. So what I'm going to do is take this and take it to a bandsaw, cut out the general shape, and then I actually have like a smaller scroll saw that will actually kind of get more of the detailed work in it. And then I will do the same thing with the various uh, areas, land, land zones, um, and they'll be smaller than this bigger piece so that I can have plenty of white space between the boundaries so that you can uh, better denote the different areas. So that that was just something that uh, folks had a little bit of trouble with um, on the last board um, when we played. Didn't come up too much, but um, most of the spots are easy to see. But it came up enough that it was annoying. So uh, the, the board, I'm going to keep this white, but I'm going to paint it so that it's sealed. Um, that way it just uh, it doesn't take soak up a lot of resin or it just stays better. It doesn't peel or anything like that as we play on it. These I'm going to make out of similar material, but they're going to be a brown, um, which that'll help just kind of as I lay it out and get it situated. Um, but then, I'll, of course, flock it and then actually come in and put some more of the little flocking here for the um, trees and then the rocks and the deserty areas here. So that's it for this update. We'll talk to you later.